Yeah, for the two-piece implant, for the root form, these are all the instruments that are there for the two-piece system. And as I said, the first drill will always be the DB2020 up to the full length. Second, we will do the pilot drill, 2.0 pilot drill up to the required length. Third, we will use the root form specific drill. So this is the root form specific drill where we have this part that will drill into the depth. We have the laser markings up to the correct depth. So you will do the drilling up to the desired depth in this. So full length DB2020, full length uh, 2 mm pilot drill and full length D step 1. After doing this drilling, you can place the 3.5 diameter root form 2 piece implant. We also have a 3.0 diameter root form 2 piece implant. Directly after doing the 2.0 pilot drill, you can place that. First drill, second drill. After this second pilot drill, you can place the 3.0 root form implant. Then to place the 3.5, you need to do this drill. Okay, the D step 1. If you are placing implants larger than 3.5, that is 3.8, 4.2, 5.5, you have again the crestal drill and here the markings denote the diameter. So you just have, once you do this drill up to the full depth, you will just do here for 3.8, up to here for 4.2, 4.8 and 5.5. So crestal drill, 3.5. 3.0 and of course this is your basic starter drill. Once you have drilled in, then you have the placement aid. The root form implant comes along with the abutment. The abutment comes with the holder. So again this is the insertion tool. This tool goes inside the root form implant and you are able to insert the implant. Same rules apply. Then to disengage the abutment or the prosthetic parts from the root form implant you have the hex driver you this is to remove and uh, close the abutment screws the gingiva former the impression post this is the driver that you use to engage and disengage them after you remove the screw as i mentioned to you before that because of the cone connection you need to use this abutment removal driver and you have to screw this into the abutment uh, into the abutment and this will push out the abutment here is the implant. So this is how the implant comes. Once it comes out of the pack, you can use the single piece insertion tool and you can start to insert the implant. Okay, once you insert the implant with your hand as much as it can go, you can take it out. Then what I always recommend is you use your screwdriver and unscrew, unscrew this abutment screw. When you unscrew the abutment screw, you have to take out the screw completely. Then we can use the abutment removal tool and we have to basically screw it in. And as we screw it in, you will find that it will just push out the abutment. Then you can go ahead and use the internal placement aid and you can insert the implant using the ratchet up to the entire level. The recommended placement for this cone connection implant is to keep the crest 1 and in aesthetically important areas even 2 mm subcrestal. These are the markings over here. 1 mm subcrestal for all cases and aesthetically important areas you can even put it 2 mm subcrestal. Then you can go ahead and place a gingiva former if you want directly if you want a single stage surgery or you can put a cover screw and close it up if you want to do a two-stage procedure. Say you are doing grafting and things like that.